Dragons, my name is Rourke, and welcome to Monday Reviews. Today we are reviewing Pessoa Passion Fruit Liqueur, which you saw last Saturday, and the Hawaiian Ghost Finder. This is a, as I said, this is a, this is a passion fruit liqueur. It's got about 20% alcohol, and it's pretty much, yeah. I don't know if it's that well known, but it seems to be pretty popular here in the tropical areas, like Florida and such. Yeah, Pessoa is actually a product of Cointreau. It was, I th Yeah. The Cointreau Master Distiller traveled to Brazil and discovered passion fruit flower. And then he fell in love with the beautiful flower, with its powerful, fascinating perfume. Back magnifying passion fruit, subtle flavor in form of balance of flavors. In order, uh, so basically, the creator of Cointreau went to Brazil in about 1985, and he found passion fruit and he decided that he wanted to turn it into a liqueur. So, here we have Passoa, which is, again, a product of Cointreau. So, let's get into it, shall we? Like I said, it's 20% alcohol, which is kind of normal for a p liqueur. Okay, so, as you can see, it's nice and red, or in urine it might be kind of pink, but as far as I can see, it's kind of, it's really a nice red color to me. It looks really nice, too. Alright, let's get into the smell. It has a nice, sweet smell to it. Passion fruit has a nice bittersweet quality to it, so when you smell it, it kind of tastes sweet, but it also tastes, it smells sour at the same time. So, yeah. That's the thing about passion fruit. Most of the time, it's bittersweet, or sweet and sour, depending on how you get the fruit. Don't have, doesn't have a lot of ethanol to it. That's a little bit, but not much. Alright, let's try it out. Hmm. That's pretty nice. Has a nice sweet, sour s taste to it. It's like more sweet than sour though, so it's kind of like kind of get the little bit of the you get you get the sour more than sweet oh no you get nice sweet sour notes from it it's really nice There's no, there's not really any burn to it, though you do taste the ethanol on the finish a little bit, but you're pretty much getting a nice sweet, sour taste to it. You could really drink this neat if you wanted to, or as like a cocktail idea, you could probably make a. Well, they have a few recipes on their back on the back of their bottle for it. You can use it in something called a Pessoa Orange, which is two parts Pessoa and two parts of orange juice. Or something called a Pessoa Madras, 
which is two ounces of Pessoa, half ounce vodka, two ounces orange juice, and two ounces cranberry juice. So, they have a few recipe suggestions. They have a few recipe suggestions on the back of the bottle. So, yeah. But yeah, Pessoa is actually really awesome. Then again, I say that a lot about a lot about a few bunch of alcohols, but. I have one, I have yet to find one alcohol that I don't like yet. <laughs> so, yeah. It's definitely, it'll definitely play really well in other tropical type drinks too. Or maybe even tiki drinks, I think. But yeah. Like I said, it's really awesome. Alright. Pasoa, Passion Fruit Liqueur. Thank you for watching. My name is Rourke for Drinking with Dragons. We are exploring the world of alcohol. See you next time and drink responsibly. <laughs>